All right. This is a baby. I don't think we've had him on a video of him. This is Jack Frost. People who come around here know that he's my <laughs> heart rat. No, because well, they're not pets. He's just, I'm very, very attached to him. He, when he was a little baby, I thought I was going to lose him. And you can see his little, well, I don't know if you can see, he's got just soft, fuzzy fur. He looks like a white teddy bear. And that, so when he was a little baby and he had all this thin fur sticking out, <laughs> this little white fur, it just looked so uh, helpless. And he was really, really sick. And I, I, yeah, I thought we were going to lose him, but we didn't. I was so relieved when he pulled through. And I think that kind of experience just really bonds you to a rat. I don't really know what it is that does that, but I know I got very bonded to him. So he's been pretty healthy. Let's move this so they can see your pretty face. He's been pretty healthy most of the time. He's back on medicines now. He's off and on. He's on medicine. This whole group that we got um, from the Humane Society, from the Idaho Humane Society last year, were really, really sick. Well, they're not, they weren't really, really sick when we got them, but they had been sickly rats. They just turned a year old just um, about a week ago. And they've all been on medicine most of the time, off and on. And I just don't feel really good about them having a long life. I don't think that's going to happen. We have had... Okay, i got to turn this down because I can't focus. There. We have had um, times when we had rats that were really sick that we, had, we were able to nebulize and do oxygen treatments for them or I was able to give them subcutaneous fluids and I'm no longer able to do that now but I just can't the the motion with my um, that with pushing down the plunger my thumbs are not strong enough to do that anymore get up here and look look at the camera oh you don't want to look at the camera huh let's see if we get closer he is really shy there pretty baby. So anyway, my plans for the rat retreat are to eventually have a vet clinic on the grounds where we can take care of the rats because I'm just not going to be able to do all the work. Well, and it's time, it, I'm reaching a time in my life where I need to do some other things too for myself. So the plans I've got, I just ran across those plans last night too where I had drawn little sketches of what we want the rat retreat to look like. I think most of you know that um, we're gone global now, and um, <laughs> we're trying to t <laughs> we're trying to get more people to band together. To um, this is why I wish it had a pause button. It's like oh, if I could only pause it. There we go. Okay, we're trying to get more people to band together. Because in, if when we unify, when we all are working together, we'll just have more power to get things done. Like um, if we're all going in a bunch of different directions, it's harder to get focused in on what we need to do. So we're so blessed now that we have on our board Francois from Snarf's Rat Sanctuary, and he's going to become uh, an official affiliate of the Rat Retreat. And then we've already got um, another rat retreat called the Rat Retreat Holland. And we're hoping that Mary will become an official affiliate too. It, uh, we're having trouble getting people in the United States to join with us. I know everybody's got their own thing. We're not trying to take away from what anyone else is doing. We're just trying to unify so that um, we can work together for funding and so we can work together for getting laws changed, just all the things that we need to do to take care of rats. So our goal is to have a building that's not this trailer, <laughs> to have a building that's called the Rat Retreat, an official building, 
and we'll always have to have people live in. Don and I aren't going to be able to live in there forever, though. Eventually, we're going to have to move on and do other things, but we're expecting, with the way that the board has grown and our donations have grown, that we'll be able to get um, somebody to live in there, maybe have a period of time, two or three years, so the rats will always have a live-in help. And I, in my mind, I've got, um, I think of having something called the Center for the Rat. We have something called the Center for the Book here in Boise, and it's mostly based on Ernest Hemingway's books. But I think about the Center for the Rat as an education place where people can go and be educated about rats. Um, we've also got a place here called Birds of Prey. It's a place where you can go and you watch videos and you get all kinds of information. And that's what I have in mind for the rats is a place where somebody can, people can sit down in a, in a comfortable setting and watch films about rats and watch people work with rats and really change the perception of rats. I think it'll give them some more dignity to have their own. Yeah, you like that idea, huh? give them some more dignity to have their very own place where people can go and learn about rats. Yeah, we've got a lot of other plans too. Like I said, the vet clinic on the grounds too. But anyway, so that's where we're going. This is Jack Frost. Please keep supporting us. Keep donating. We're going to need a lot of money to do the things that we want to do. And you've helped us to keep going with the rats that we've got here, but we just, all right, bye Jack Frost. <laughs> we just want to do so much more than this, and we're going to need your continued support. And we're going to need a lot more support, so I hope that you're telling your friends about the rat retreat. I'm sharing with people. Think about joining the board or becoming a volunteer or joining a committee. We've just got a lot of work to do. Even here in Boise, we've got so much to do. Why are we not getting volunteers here in this large city? So we've obviously got a lot of marketing and publicity work that needs to be done. So anyway, please help us however you can. And when you're helping us, helping the rat retreat, you're helping the rats. As Francois likes to say, it's all about the rats. <laughs>